Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Ava and I are about to hit the road for Los Angeles. Now the official reason we're going there is that a movie I shot is premiering at a uh, film festival. The kind of real reason we're going though, as usual, is food. You ready? More or less. Andiamo. So I used to live in LA and uh, this was before uh, I married Ava and every time she would come and visit me we would have the worst weather you could possibly imagine. It would be gray and cold and wet. Still to this day she thinks that Los Angeles is like cold and rainy. How would you describe the weather of Los Angeles? Cold and rainy. See what I mean? I remember that I had, maybe there wasn't sun, but I had very good food. And one of the best food that I had in Los Angeles were the street tacos that I love so much. And it was also the first time that I could eat a pineapple on something that wasn't sweet but was savory. And it worked pretty well. Welcome to uh, Beverly Hills. That's the hill of Beverly. No, we are not in Beverly Hills. This is Beverly Hills, trust me. Where is Rodeo Drive? That's Rodeo Drive, right there. Call my mom. Calling Sarah Mobile. Hi. So we're, uh... Where? What's that? I was just to say, where are you? Uh, we are about an hour away from our Airbnb. Okay. So do you want to just meet us there? Yeah, I guess I can, yeah. Okay, all right, see you soon. Cloudy. It's a lay Cloudy. As soon as we get in, the clouds roll in. Guys, leave a comment down below. Please tell Ava that Los Angeles is normally sunny. Oh my god, you scared me. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You see how beautiful is your mom? Oh. <laughs> how are you? Good, good, good. It's so good to see you. Guys, this is my mom, Sarah. Hi, everybody. She grew up in LA. I did. I did. I'm home. Look at that tub. Wow. wow. Guess who chose the place? <laughs> well, it's gray, which isn't what I was hoping for, but at least we made it. Buongiorno. Cloudy. June gloom. Good morning. Yes, I'm ready. The plan is to go to a place that a lot of you have asked us to visit, but we've never been in a city that had one until now, and it's often been described as the Disneyland of Italian ingredients. Before we head into Italy, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Are you trying to work out and exercise more, but you're feeling like you're stuck in a rut? I actually felt that way recently, which is why I was super thrilled to discover Future. Future is a new fitness app that connects you with an online personal trainer. They'll send you custom workouts each week, monitor your performance, and send you messages to keep you motivated. Future coaches are total pros. They've trained like celebrities and athletes, busy professionals. I've been trying it for a while now, and I was hooked up with my coach, Tyler. He is awesome. When you sign up, you'll have a video chat with your coach. You'll talk about what your goals are and they'll come up with a custom plan for you. Just had my very first meeting with Tyler, my coach. Really excited to get started. I've been really wanting to focus on building strength, so Tyler came up with a plan for me for that. But their trainers can come up with plans no matter what your goals are. Maybe you just want to lose weight after eating a bunch of uh, goodies from Italy. The app is amazing. It makes it super easy to follow along with the workouts. You can even, like while you're working out, send videos of your form to get feedback and help. 
You can use the app whether you work out at a gym, if you work out at home like I do. Tyler has been super available for me. He's always there when I message him, if I have a question, if I need help with something. You really feel like you have someone there in your corner helping you with this. Future is amazing for someone who's intimidated by the gym, doesn't know what to do, is just getting started, but it's also great for someone like me who's always exercised but looking for something new and challenging. If you want a workout plan that's made for you, just you and not the masses, visit the link down in the description below. You can try your first month for just $19. That's less than most gym memberships. I can't say enough good things about Future. I've loved it so far, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. You look prepared. I, I'm ready for shopping. So if you are looking for the best Italian pasta, or maybe the best Italian spaghetti, this is the way to go. Benedetto Cavalieri, they make this in Puglia, and it was declared, nominated as the best spaghetti in Italy. So I think that we need some of them. I know that they can be very cool. I know that also Italy is full of this colorful pasta. But if you want to buy pasta, and if you want to eat pasta, don't buy this. For those who don't know, this is Ava's favorite pasta shape. Ah, this is the Coke that they make in Torino. Really? Si, si, si. We make also the Coke in Italy, in Torino, and they call it Mola, Mole Cola. They have the same colors of Coca-Cola. If you are in the mood for a very good canned tuna fish, Calipo. They make this tuna fish very close to the sa, and I grew up on this tuna fish, and it's delicious. Oh, Muti. Muti, and they made the tomato puree sul campo, which means that they should be made in the field. Now, do we really believe that they make the tomato puree in the field? Uh... Okay, once for all, this has nothing to do with Italy. <laughs> nothing, zero. This is the Italian imitation of your Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, I understand you want to buy like the Strachin and other stuff, Italian cheese, okay. But if you're in America and you have the original one, why you need to buy this? I'm sorry, I can't pay $9 for a fake Philadelphia cream cheese when I'm in the land of the cream cheese. Well, it never compared to real ricotta, Calabro is one of the best ricottas that we've found in the U.S. It's actually pretty good. If you find the skim milk one, it's better, but they have ricotta di bufala. Also, you have the real provolone. Yeah, so this is like, it's much sharper and harder than what we would normally call provolone. So if you're ever looking for provolone for one of Ava's recipes, this is a good place to go. Oh, they've got Nduya. So this Nduya is made by Tempesta. This is like their more affordable option that you'll find in stores now, increasingly so, which is cool. We've only had their like really big, like natural casing one. So very curious to try this one and see what it's like. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe we should get some guanciale. Let's be honest, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> Does this look better? These look much better. <laughs> this looks like a guanciale. I can buy everything here. This is a Sicilian wine. And it's what we call Etna Rosso. And it's one of the best wine, if you like the volcanic wine, because they have their own taste. And as you can see, they have a pretty good choice. I love it. There isn't any Calabrian white wine. And guys, we make amazing white wine in Calabria. 
uh, this is a place that has good things but also bad things, which means that you can find real and good Italian product, I'm not saying no. But then on the other side, sometimes they are too pricey. But it's understandable, we are in the other part of the world and it's okay. Do you want to go to my old neighborhood? Si, Arpil. Okay, but first we gotta pick someone up. Call Isaiah. Hello. Hey dude, What's we up? are on our way. Okay, well, I'm already all ready. All right, cool, see you soon. Thank you. Little gentleman gesture. Hi, nice to meet nice you. To meet. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm so good to happy to see you guys right now. Happy to see you. Guys, this is my friend Isaiah, one of my best friends in the world, and we used to be roommates. Yes. Do you yeah. want to go see the old place? We were going to go check it out. I'm curious what kind of shape it's in now. Can we go in? I don't think we can go <laughs> in, but we could go see it. Yes, I All am right, so down. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do. I, I remember that place is really good. The restaurant, I mean, right there. That's it. This is where you used to park your car. Oh, yeah. what? They have a fence now. Well, it looks pretty much exactly the same. This same van is still parked out here. Hasn't moved <laughs> in about a decade. So if you guys saw our road trip across America series, uh, that was filmed because we came here to this place to move out. Do you remember, did you ever go to the Greek place around the corner? Yes. Yeah? I, I think it was your favorite place. And it was. <laughs> I went there all the time. And wait, where is it? Hang on. I have <laughs> an unredeemed Papa Christo's loyalty card. Wow. Are you in the mood for some Greek food? Always. I love it. So our old neighborhood is the Byzantine Latino Quarter. So it's very Latino, but also very Greek. And there's this place, Papa Christos. It was my favorite place to come eat. It's good to be back. Okay, I have a question that's very important. I always embarrass myself. I never know the answer, but I feel like you might know. Is it pronounced gyro or giro or gyro? Giro. Giro? Giro. It's not euro? I thought it was Zero. Yeah, I it was Zero. 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 Okay, thank you. I will yeah, welcome. I will embarrass myself less now. Hi there. Hello. I have a card. Okay, Can I use that to get two sandwiches instead okay. of the dinner plate? So I guess we'll get three gyros. Three gyros? Is that gonna be for here? They said gyro. Now they said hero. 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 Gyro. They said hero. Now they didn't say, but they are not Greek. What did they Wait, say about what? This they gave me a new loyalty card, but stamped with enough stamps for another free sandwich. I love this place. I love this place. I already have another free sandwich. I just got free sandwiches. <laughs> they gave me another one. Oh, you can give it to me before you leave. And yes, come this back. is yours now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Papa Harper. <laughs> oh my god, the smell is so delicious. Big old hero. Sandwich, hero. 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 They said hero. So, bon bon appetito. Appetito. Yes, bon appetito. I was worried it wouldn't be as good as I remembered it. I think it's better than I remembered it. The way in which Greek people cook the meat is like... It's delicious. It's like the messiest sandwich ever. Yeah, I know. I just want to eat in a like, dark <laughs> corner by myself, like in a corner, like looking on the other side. Don't look at Don't me. Don't look at me. <laughs> that was super good, but I still have some goodies in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had Induya before? You've had Induya? <laughs> okay. So this is buffalo milk ricotta. Okay. Actually, it's not bad. Really? It's good? All right, that's it's good. It's not bad. <laughs> oh my God, it worked. <laughs> see? Oh, I see. I see why, yeah, it's a paste. But it's a wrapped in a sausage form. But it really is sausage, it's just what? meat. I feel this is the most difficult things to do in life because they don't do with the real, how do you say, ca casein or not? Sausage casein. <laughs> <You're just> gonna... <laughs> that's gonna explode. Oh my gosh, 
It's like a tomato paste. They should have Induya in a squirt bottle. They have in Italy. They, they have do? in Italy. Yes, they sure. Do? So, what we do is uh -huh. this, some of this. Labor of love. Just spreading <laughs> those cheese, like she makes it like beautiful. That's awesome. Interesting taste. The quality of the meat is good. But put some more spicy pepper. It's not this spicy is not spicy at all. Uh... <laughs> Knowing the real deal, this is uh, okay. Don't worry, Isaiah. We'll take you to Italy to get the real Induya. Yes! I asked Isaiah about the live octopus because it's like one of the quintessential of the Korean food. It's been a while since I tried live octopus. It's really hard to eat because um, it it's, moves. It, yeah, it moves and it's. It I mean, it gets stuck, like in your like sealing of your mouth and stuff. Yeah, it was kind of terrifying experience as like a uh, ten years old. <laughs> Should we take Ava to one of the like Koreatown markets? Yes. I got you guys. Well, welcome to the store. These are uh, radish you use to make a uh, type of kimchi. It's my favorite one, but if you guys have a chance, I say definitely try out radish kimchi. I love kimchi. Okay, but here there is written in Japanese, so he's Korean. It's like, I don't ask him about this. Thank you. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. So all of these are side dishes that people would like eat with their rice, like meat and type of stuff, and they have like hundreds of different There's kinds. There's so of many. Yeah. It's insane. And this oh, too? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, wow. Like almost all of them are just like, totally unrecognizable to me, which I really like. It's like this whole world of food that I just know nothing about. Oh, this is this. amazing. This is amazing. So like what you do is you open up the shell like right in the middle and you put the rice in there and mix it up with the soy that is like in the around it. Oh. And it's wow. delicious. And a lot of time, this crab will have eggs inside of it. And it's so delicious. I... It's, it's considered to be one of the most expensive food in Korea. I'm drooling here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You found your spirit animal. I love them. What I found? <laughs> anyway, with this also in Calabria. You can eat this like a snack. Like, you, like just get this. If you want, you can just like bring it around and just like yeah, eat it like a snack. Like popcorn. What does one cook in a shabu shabu pot? This is like a hot pot thingy. Did you ever try Chinese hot pot? No. <gasps> I know shabu shabu. You don't know shabu shabu. No, I don't know shabu shabu. I don't shabu shabu. I've never shabu shabu in my they, life. They think Calabria we shabu shabu. We don't shabu shabu you in shabu Calabria. Shabu more than I shabu shabu. Eva, did you ever try rice wine? It's like sake. Kind of like sake, but these are like a Korean version of it. No, never. These are like filtered in a such a way that the, like if you look at it, the liquor is like white. I, I would have thought like... it's like coconut milk or something. <laughs> Me too. This is dried fish. So how do you eat the dried pollock? If you notice, there's like a lot of alcohol being behind you guys. The reason why is you these, don't are, say. <laughs> these are like a lot of these you eat while you're drinking. Oh, so it's yeah. like a cheap. And you're gonna get some. <laughs> these are classic. A lot of people like think this as like a Korean, um, how do you say it, like traditional uh, pie. And it has marshmallow filling, which is your favorite. So it means that they taste more or less, more or less like s'mores. Maybe. No, you have the sea snail. They are typical also from Napoli, Maruzel. And it will turn into um, Korean barbecue. Mm. It's delicious. I wish I can open up and make it smell like. 
What were like your favorite snacks in Korea? Uh, let's see. This is uh, so called oguma. Um, I like the one called okamja, which is like a potato version of it. And this is sweet potato. Okay, mm. that's coming with us yes. for sure. <laughs> So this looks like the Korean barbecue meat section. Yes. So we used to go to Korean barbecue together a lot. Uh -huh. Should we take Ava? Yes. I know the best place. I got it. All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll drop you off and then we'll swing back. Or we'll meet you at Korean barbecue. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Look at this. Wait, can I see the camera? Isaiah, you are so yes. Hollywood. You live right there. <laughs> well, I'll see you in two, three hours. All right, we'll see you for yeah. dinner. Alright. Alright, take yeah. it easy. Front door. Came back to pick my mom up. You ready for Korean barbecue? Yeah. Can't get that in Maine. <laughs> no, you can't. You wanna drive? We're eating like ridiculously early because we have to then come back and change for the screening. I'm still so stuffed from Papa Christo's. Time for some barbecue. <laughs> Arrive at Porter's Korean BBQ. This is the most Isaiah place ever. Hi there. Uh, can we get a table for eight? For eight? It might take about 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah. We don't really have 45 minutes to spare. Good, how are you? You guys have met before, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we have. Yeah. Where? Yes. In your house. Guys, this is my friend Aitor. You might remember him from the video where he came to Mexico with Mexico. us. <laughs> which you can watch here, or here. One of these corners. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey. Isaiah, Isaiah, nice to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you. Hello, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Sarah. Oh. I thought that you guys had met, but I no, don't think we No, I don't think we were. Like, Look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is. Don't drive, don't drive. How are you guys doing? What is this? What are you bring? Some hot sauces and chili flakes from a vendor that I work with at the farmer's markets. Oh, nice. So guys, these two are the Tobaldo brothers, the two craziest brothers in the world. Where do we meet? In, uh, in Naples, in the hotel lobby, the hotel room lobby. For the Pasta Grammar Tour. We're going back next year. I think the large is really good. They come with ribeye and marinated short ribs and beef belly, pork belly, and pork chop. Uh, this is uh, ribeye right here, and this is marinated uh, rib. Tito, guys. Wait, what is that expression? That's a good expression. Oh, that's a good expression? Okay, okay, yes. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! So you'll grab one of this right here, right? And then you'll put it like right here. And then I'll get one of the meat on top. And then I'll like get, grab one of these on top. Okay, so that was pretty insane. I honestly was like, I'm gonna try to document everything and record everything Isaiah is telling me about it, but it just kept coming and coming and coming and there was more and more and more and he was saying all this stuff. I honestly just lost track of it. It was all super delicious though. I think that this was one of the best meal of my life. Well, thanks for showing us around Korea Town, but we're not done yet. Should we suit up? Yes, let's suit up. Let's suit up. Okay, meet me at the bar in 15 minutes and suit up. The 
bella. Ma che bella, Alper, sì, ho oh, Well, let's say no. that beauty is in the eyes that are looking at you. Almost. <laughs> You suit it up. So we're here finally at the TCL Chinese Theater for the screening of the movie I shot. Good luck, guy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna try to film a little bit in there. It'll be the ultimate irony if I get kicked out for pirating my own movie. Yeah. So what did you think? Don't ask me because you're making me cry. I'm making you cry. It was so beautiful. I'm making you cry. What did you think? That you know what you're doing. Oh. So bravo, oh. bravo. I'm so proud of you. He made me proud. Thank you. Thank Bravo. you. Thank you. Your Los Angeles experience isn't quite over yet. Buongiorno. My plan was to bring Ava to In-N-Out before we leave for Tucson. Problem is, we got out of the film festival at 3 in the morning yesterday. It's also a little early for a burger and we need to hit the road. But I have an idea. See you. Good to see you. Love you. Love you too. I'll see you another year and a half. Uh, I hope not. Andiamo. Almost home. Tired? I'm a little bit tired, yes. We may not have an Italy here in Tucson, Arizona, but we do have an in and out Hi, how are you? Hi there, good Can thanks. Ah, no, that's fine. Thank you. You too. All right, Ava, I present to you your first In-N-Out cheeseburger. It doesn't smell so bad. No, it doesn't smell bad. It smells delicious in here. Buon appetito! McDonald's. What? It tastes like McDonald's. There's no way that tastes like McDonald's. Exactly like a cheeseburger McDonald's. You are like so wrong about this. I'm wrong. It's like I, re I know how a McDonald's cheeseburger tastes. No, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Give me that. I don't see how you can say that. The bun is amazing. The way it's toasted is just like you never see that done so perfectly at a McDonald's. The meat is much better. The way it's caramelized, it's like, I, I don't see how you can say this tastes like McDonald's. I can give you the fact that actually, yes, the bread is a little bit better. <laughs> but then all the rest, it tastes like a McDonald's. Well, Eva, congratulations. Uh, you are never allowed to go back to Los Angeles, at least not in safety. I bet you're a Shake Shack person. That would be so typical. What is a Shake Shack? I love hamburger, but I love the hamburger when he makes the hamburger. Well, thank you. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on our little trip. We'll be cooking away next week, so do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar. All right, guys, we're gonna go get some sleep. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. How can you say that tastes like McDonald's? It's not the same. It's not the same.